Hi everyone, welcome to Life Plus Compass. I'm very happy to have you here. Today we are doing a reading for Sagittarius for the second half of February. We're going to go ahead and pull several messages and see what comes through. What do we need to know? What's happening for Sagis? I apologize for this reading being a little late, but we do still have some time in February left, so let's see what's happening. Please do keep in mind that not every message and not every reading will be for every one of you. And let's go ahead and start. Messages for Sagittarius, second half of February. Oh, look at that. Five of Cups, the strings. Oh, this one needs to come out too. Page of Cups. What else is here? Oh, I like that energy. We have Ten of Cups in the house. All right, what else we have for Saji? one three of swords and ace of wands okay well let's go ahead and clarify let's see what these messages are all about starting with five of cups what is this five of cups here for for my sagittarius five of cups for sagittarius <laughs> Five of materials. Awakening. I like that. Queen of inspiration. And five of inspiration. Wow, look at that. You've got five of cups, five of materials, which is five of pentacles, and five of inspiration, which is five of wands. This is five, five, five. Very strong energy of change. There is a change coming into the situation, whatever this is. Also, there is a lot of awakening here. You have this beautiful awakening energy. You awaken into your intuition. You awaken into your spirit. Also here, your third eye is lit, your third eye is opening. And the same here, you're receiving some blessings and some messages, possibly in your dream state. You might be getting some dreams that are very vivid. You could be getting some dreams that have some important messages in them. Um, Five of Cups energy here is an energy of reminiscing about the past. This is you looking at the three cups that are spilled in front of you and not seeing that there is something behind you that could be very, very beneficial for you. The same uh, with the Five of Materials is the energy of lack when it comes to financial situation and you not going through this beautiful opening here that's going to bring you to uh, positivity. I do like the energy of a change here. The 555 is definitely telling me that this energy is changing and is changing to something very successful. Queen of Inspiration, a Queen of Wands, this is somebody who's very successful in his or her career, somebody who's very much uh, has their finances in order. I do see some conflict that is happening in your um, workspace. This could be your workspace or something to do with your money, whatever is related to your money. Um, there is some uh, some conflict going on there. I do feel that uh, people are not communicating well enough to be able to stop thinking about the past, stop thinking about the losses and start counting your blessings here because the blessings are definitely coming. You are awakening to them. I feel like uh, there could have been some, um, if you're working in some sort of co company, you have a colleagues, a group of people here, there could have been some decrease in um, financial gains. There could have been some losses in finances as in company in general, not necessarily your particular part. There could have been some... Um, Let's say if you something that comes through very strongly, if you work in the rating system, the ratings might have gone down and it feels to me like uh, and nobody wants to take responsibility for it. Everybody's trying to blame their, somebody else here and there is this um, focus on what went wrong rather than what needs to happen to turn around the situation. But again, I'm emphasizing the fact that the change is coming. 555, five, five, this is a beautiful energy of a change. And you're awakening to this change. You're going to listen to your intuition here. You definitely could be getting some spiritual messages here. And eventually, you're going to get to this energy of success. Queen of Inspiration, this is talking about success in financial sphere and success in Korea. This is what I see. All right, Saji, let's go ahead and clarify the strengths. What is this here for? 
Oh, look at that. That came out straight away. Moose of Voices. Beautiful. Strings for Sagittarius. A chariot. Whoa, Aquarius with that star. A lot of major arcanas. And the fool, another major arcana. This is a very, very significant message for some of you here. Lots of major arcanas is uh, talking about uh, the message being very important, but also a uh, very significant change. Again, energy of a change with all these major arcanas here. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Leo, also very strong energy of a Cancer, Aquarius, and Aries. When there are so many arcanas, there is a lot of... Uh, um, zodiac signs that you could be uh, possibly dealing with but what i feel is that uh, you've been very perseverant you've been very perseverant in something um i feel like you've taken a risk with something and it's gonna bring you to this energy of success and victory here so whatever you've been working on for a long time you were not afraid to take a risk to start a new journey here and it's bringing you wish fulfillment this star energy is giving me a lot of wish fulfillment Muse of Voices is talking about good communication. This is talking about uh, um, communication with either the partner that you with, or this could be good information that is coming through here for you to be able to bring this win. This could be in any area of your life. It could be different for all of you guys here. Whatever is the new journey that you've started. If Let's say you started a new business. Very successful wish fulfillment here. Um, if you decided to start a new relationship here with any of those signs that you mentioned or somebody with strong placement of those signs, again, beautiful wish fulfillment here and success. A lot of great communication. I do feel like whatever is, um, is you're doing here, you're very strong, perseverant in doing this. You're very determined to reach success. And um, the lines of communication are very, very much open here, either with your colleagues or with your partners, financial partners, romantic partners, whatever it is, communication is very important and is flowing very easily now. I like to see that. Very nice, Sajis. Let's go ahead and clarify what is this uh, page of cups? What is this here for? Page of cups for my Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and clarify. Let's see what is this about. Ten of emotions. I like that. We've got ten of cups. Page of Inspiration in Reverse. Ten of Materials. Whoa, what a beautiful energy here. And the Tower. Wow. Very strong energy overall in, of change in your life during this period of time, during the second um, half of February. And uh, this change is, seems to be happening in many different areas of your life here. This uh, this spread here is talking about a very sudden change in your romantic love life. This could be a very sudden change in your family life here as well. Some foundation is crumbling here. You have a lot of endings in this spread. You have 10, 10 and the tower. This is all talking about the endings. This is talking about changes. And you are standing very strong and being able to go through this. Ten of emotions is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy of wish fulfillment and complete abundance in your romantic love life or in your family life, anything that has to do with your emotions. And ten of materials, again, is a beautiful energy of a happy family, happy home, stability, financial stability, financial abundance here. What I see very prominent here is that you will get um, an offer of love. I see a new offer of love coming your way with this page of cups. This could be something very, very new. And it seems to me like it's going to lead you to this beautiful abundance. Now, the sudden change that um, could be happening here is you leaving somebody of a fire energy here and going towards somebody with the water energy. This is what I see very, very strongly. Or this could be just somebody who's very, very passionate about you, somebody who brought a lot of physical passion into this connection here, but not necessarily enough emotions, you deciding to leave that and to some, even to you, might feel like a very, very sudden change here and you're going for this new offer that is coming your way. Beautiful offer of love, 
um, beautiful uh, offer of care, somebody who's very nourishing, caring, somebody who's here for a long run. This is what I see. Somebody who sees you as, as uh, a partner that they can build the family with. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and clarify this Ten of Cups. We've seen the Ten of Cups here. Now we have Ten of Cups again. Let's go ahead and see if this connected or maybe it's a different message. We'll find out, Saji. Let's see. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. The Moon. Okay. The Devil. Six of Emotions. Page of emotions and eight of voices. Wow. Okay. So first of all, you have two cards that are um, connected to this previous spread here. You have ten of cups twice, and you have page of emotions, which is page of cups twice. So I do feel like these two messages are very much connected. What I see here is that you in your head, you in your head, because you have more than one option when it comes to your romantic love life. Very strong energy of a water sign that we also seen here, specifically Cancer. And also Pisces actually is coming through very strong as well. So, the, so that could be one person and there could be somebody from your past who wants to reconcile. Now, this could have been just plainly a Capricorn, or it could have been somebody who was quite uh, manipulating in the past, somebody who was a little bit over controlling, somebody who wanted to control you, somebody who wanted to be um, leading the relationship in a way that their word is the last word. So somebody who wasn't really um, giving you equal give and take here. So that could have been somebody from your past and I do feel that they are willing to come back here and possibly reconcile with you and you're very much in your head about it. You're very much in your head about it. You're thinking about it. Um, you are um, choosing here. You are choosing here and uh, the choice that you're going to make is going to lead you to this beautiful abundance energy. We've already talked about Ten of Cups. This is an energy of happy family, happy union, abundant family, and a very, very happy future, long-term relationship. This is what you're choosing here. Of course, the choice is yours if you want to go back and reconcile with your past or if you decide to go for something new. This new person could be also younger than you. There is a little bit of a age difference here. Either you are younger than them or they are younger than you here, Saji. I do feel that they are younger than you though. <laughs> This is the energy that is coming through. I feel like with this past person here, whoever was this uh, ex that is trying to reconcile, there are still some secrets that are going on there. There is still some information that I, they are not um, disclosing to you. So something to think about, something to think about and uh, make some choices here. Interesting. Saji, let's go ahead and clarify this Three of Swords. What is this about for my Sagittarius? Let's go ahead and see. Queen of Emotions. Okay. Seven of Inspiration in reverse. The Sun. And Death. Okay, I like to see that. Four of Emotions in reverse. Okay, so what I see here is that some of you definitely went through some heartbreak. With the Three of Swords, there was some heartbreak here. And um, I do feel that this could have been this Leo or a fellow fire energy here that is coming through very, very strongly. You could have been dealing with the Leo here. Um, but what I see here, that the issue here was is that you gave so much to that union. You were so caring, you were so loving, you were... Uh, you were given your all. You gave a lot of love to this person here and almost kind of lost yourself in it. With the seven of inspiration here in reverse is telling me that you did not have much independence in this union. And this could definitely be connected to this message that we've seen here with the devil energy here. Somebody who's over controlling definitely could have been the case for you. But what I see that I absolutely love seeing here is you have this death energy. Death is an ending. It's an ending of this heartbreak. You're healing. 
you are healing and you're starting a new rebirth energy here. I feel like you don't feel the love from that person anymore. Whoever broke your heart here, whoever um, brought this heartache to you, you don't feel the love from them anymore. This is it. You're not looking at the past anymore. You want something new. You want the happiness here. And the happiness will come to you with a new cycle of life. With the ending of this heartbreak, with the ending of this relationship here. And starting something new. This is what I see. That's the message I have, Saji. Interesting. Let's go ahead and clarify this uh, Ace of Wands. What is this here for? Ace of Wands for my Sagittarius. Okay, so wands. Look at that. Nine of inspiration. Hate of emotions. I like that. Queen of voices. And the world. Wow, beautiful. I do feel that your reading is more focused on your love life this time. There are a lot of messages about your love life. And I feel like this is something that you need to hear. Or some of you, some of you do. What I see here is a new beginning. Is a new beginning is you deciding to walk away. I love this energy that you're walking away from whatever is not um, no longer serving you, from whatever is no longer emotionally fulfilling you here. You're making a choice. You're making a rational choice. You're making the choice that is right for you. And it's a fair choice. It's a very fair choice. I do feel that you're going to put your emotions aside and make the decision that makes you feel good. That is the decision that you feel is good for your future that is right here that is fair for everybody you are embracing your independence with this nine of inspiration you're standing strong you're not being uh, you're not giving in to any manipulations here or, or somebody trying to drag you in into the past you are walking away eight of emotions is a clear cut here of you walking away and walking towards your happiness the world beautiful new cycle is starting for you the world is the last um, major arcana in the deck and this is the end of the past and starting a new cycle in life. And Aces is a new beginning. There is a new beginning that is coming towards you and you're walking straight towards this new beginning. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, Sadia. I love this for you. Let's go ahead and um, pull a coffee cup oracle card. Let's see. What other messages we need to hear? What else is happening for my Sagittarius? Maybe a different message, maybe for a different group of Sagis. Maybe a confirmation, we'll find out. This one right here. Wow, the new gates of opportunities are opening up for you. Beautiful. Success and pride, distance and journey. This one. Wow, I love that. Oh my gosh, look at this. We've got love. We've got new love. I do feel strongly that you're opening up opportunities to new love to come in to a person who's going to uh, see your value, who's going to treat you as a queen or a king. doesn't have to be a, a specific to a gender. But what matters here is this person will see your value here and you will be able to stand strong to stand uh, to stand strong and powerful in this union here this is not going to be somebody who's going to be suppressing you i do feel that you're taking a new journey in love this is what i see a new journey in love this is what comes through very strongly for some of you sages and it's going to be a beautiful journey with ten of cups twice here with all these beautiful cards of new beginnings this is definitely going to be a transformation for you and a beautiful love story I, li I like this. Very nice study. Let's go ahead now and pull an um, energy oracle card. Let's see what energy you should be aware of the most in the second half of February. This could be connected to the messages or some messages that we've seen here. Or could be something different. But definitely something you need to know. I will also read out the affirmation that comes with that energy card. Here you go. This is, oh my gosh, you got two cards. All right. Cornucopia, this is happiness. This is bliss. This is total bliss here. I love this for you. 
and daughter spirit very nice we've seen this awakening here for you in the very very beginning and again i do feel that you will be getting a lot of messages a lot of messages possibly in your sleep state but you will be getting a lot of messages here that will somehow feel very intuitive and it's going to make, help you make the choices that you need the choices that will lead you to complete happiness this is absolutely beautiful complete happiness wish fulfillment abundance you have it all here this is definitely all your wishes fulfilled with cornucopia let's read the affirmation that comes with this card the universe is abundant all that i desire comes to me in just the right time and way i am blessed wow i love this message this is so beautiful a lot of happiness in this energy a lot of positive energy in this reading beautiful and the daughter spirit says the daughter spirit is also talking about new beginnings and we've seen so much of new beginnings for you here in this reading okay let's read out the affirmation i relax and connect with my spirit's wisdom and power i live in peace that my spirit brings and know that the world of spirit supports me beautiful i love this for you you are supported you are definitely guided to this new path the path that brings you to total bliss so i just i truly hope that these uh, messages were helpful to you i hope that it resonated with some of you and um, if they did please like the video and if you haven't done so please subscribe to the channel it helps me a lot and uh, comment please please let me know what you think about this reading and uh, if it was helpful in any way Thank you for being here and bye for now.